Hello everyone. Hi everybody. We we all right. We're sorry that we've not posted for a while. I've only got a month till my wedding now, so I'm very busy. So we're going to try and post one video a week. We're not sure if we'll be able to, but after the wedding we'll be posting all the time. Um, today we thought that we'd do an empties video, just um, things that we've been using and we're going to let you know if we enjoyed using them and if we buy them again. Yeah. So we just starting first. I'm first, I don't know what to start with that. First is the NYX Sandstorm Liquid Lipstick. I have got this on today but it's literally, I think it's just what's on the brush that's left now. Um, I really like this and I will buy another one. It's probably my favourite lipstick. Uh, it's just one I reach for all the time. It's affordable. I love it. My first thing is the Elnet Satin um, Air Spray. Sorry. Um, by L'Oreal Paris. This is my favourite air spray ever. I've used it, I'd say, for about four years, so I will continue to buy it. Um, it's got precious oil in it, extra strength, and it cares and nourishes your hair, and it's also got argan oil. Um, I think I like this because you can brush it out. I've been using the Tresemme one, because this one was about £4 somewhere. Not a lot. I don't know how much they are. I normally pay it, but I think it was near the end of payday, like yeah. nearer to payday, so I thought I'd try something else, and I found that really hard and sticky, so I would definitely return to using this. My next one is the Collection Concealer. We think it's the last imperfection. We're not, we can't remember. Um, this, I bought another one of this already. Um, I use this for under my eyes. It's just really good and I will continue to buy it. Although the only thing with it is um, I wore it on my endo and there were some photos because when you've got a flash on it like reflects the light yeah. back. So it makes you look really white under your eyes, don't it? But it's just a really good concealer, so it's good for the price. It. It? Yeah, really affordable. The next thing that I've used is the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Classic Everyday Body Lotion in Light to Medium. I used to use about two tubes of this a week. A week? Yeah. I used to use three layers in one night. I didn't know you tanned. It's not very often I do. If I'm going out somewhere, I like to use this a couple of nights before I'm going to go Depending out. On. And I've also got the face one, but I haven't used that, all of that yet. But this is my favourite tan by far. It don't streak. It just gives you a lovely, healthy glow, so I would buy that again. My next one is the Nivea Day Cream. Um, it's for dry and sensitive skin. I got this in a set at Christmas and I just used it because I'd run out of my moisturiser for my face. Um, I wouldn't buy this again. I don't think it's very good, really. Don't you? Why? Compared to the moisture one that I use now, I don't think it moisturises your face very much. I've used the blue one a lot. Mm. It's quite good, but it's still not as good as moisture bomb. Yeah, it's just not, I don't think it's very thick. It kind of just glides on your face and it does moisturise, but I don't think it's as good as other things you can get. No. My next thing is the Kiehl's Rich, Richly Hydrating Hand Cream in Coriander. Um, I got this in a set at Christmas. You got three. I think I might still have the grapefruit one left because I don't really like to use that one because it's the best one. I've used the lavender one, but I don't know where that one's gone. It says it's a rich velvety formulation with an earthy herbal scent, leaving skin feeling soft and hydrated all day. I love this um, hand cream and I definitely buy it again, but I think they're about £18 for the full size. Next is the Super Cat um, Liquid Eyeliner by Soap and Glory. When I first bought this, I really liked it. Um, it's got quite a thick nib though, I think. The one I'm using at the minute is really, I got a really tiny nib. Um, this is, it's just like a felt tip, I think. It's quite, goes on quite dry and patchy. Although I did like it, but compared to the one I'm using now, I, I don't think I'd buy this one again. And the one I am using was cheaper than this one, I think. It's it's all right. I know a lot of people do like this one, but I don't know. It's not Me as, one. yeah, it's not as like liquidy as the one I'm using now. This is more, it like applies like a felt tip. That's all right. I think I have used it before. My next one is a brush cleansing gel by Real Techniques. 
Um, I'd say I've had this for a couple of months and I don't know if I'd repurchase it again because I tend to use conditioner. This was £8 and I found that I had to keep, I had to wash it and then wash it and then wash it and then wash it. Oh, don't clean it. It don't clean it off straight away, um, but I'm guessing nothing does, so. Does it? I don't know. Um, I'd get this again if it was on offer because it was good, but I'll stick to my conditioner. My next one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Um, I've, this is about my third tube and I would buy this again. At the minute I've got the new one which is the oil infused one which I do like but it's a lot thinner um, and I find it quite hard to apply. I get it everywhere, especially on my bottom lashes. It's the same applicator but I don't, I don't know why. The same one. It's the oil. Yeah, just a lot runnier. But um, it the oil makes it not cloggy like this one. So maybe, I'm hoping I will warm up to the other one because I think it's a good idea. My next one is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Super Recharging Antioxidant Gel Cream. It's a night cream. I think I've had this for a couple of, what's with a couple of months? I use everything in a couple <coughs> of months. Um, it's a water-based gel and I put this in with my nip and fab radiant shot at night it's like a water so it just literally just absorbs straight away and um, that's why i like it it's hydrating i don't get any dry patches anymore because sometimes i used to suffer with a few dry patches i've definitely repurchased this i think i'm gonna go and get some when i'm shopping next my next one is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour matte um, foundation <laughs> I used that quite a while ago, but I can remember really liking it. Um, it's matte, which I really like, and it's not too expensive. Um, I have read that it's prone to giving you acne, or it's not good when you've got acne. I think it's prone to giving you acne. I can't remember, I think I was just spotty anyway, so I don't know if it did or not, but I, I would definitely repurchase it, because I know I liked it. My next one is the Mitchin. 40 hour antiperspirant and deodorant in powder fresh. This is just my go-to everyday deodorant. Um, this time I got the Dove Pear Scented deodorant. As I think it was on offer. Offers always catch my eye. Um, but it's not as it's not as wet. Yeah. It's very dry to put on. Um, I feel like this moisturises your skin a lot more under. Um, and it stops you from smelling, which I don't think I have a problem with anyway, but still. I just really, I rate this as a brand and I'm definitely going to buy this one again. My next one is the Garnier uh, Micellar Water. It's the oil infused cleansing water. Um, again, I used this quite a while ago and I went through stages where I'd use it and then stop and then use it again. I, it made my skin dry sometimes. Um, and then I'm sure it was giving me spots as well. So I ended up just using it in my T-zone, I think once a day or just every couple of days. And it kind of got along with my skin then, but I'm just not sure about it. I've got the um, rose water one now, and I've stopped using that a minute because something was making my skin really dry. But isn't that for dry and sensitive skin? I don't yeah. understand. And this is. I, th I don't know, I thought oil would work because oil gets rid of oil and I get a really oily nose and T-zone but I don't know, I don't know if it's this or something else I'm using but I just don't think it agrees with me. My next one is a dry shampoo by Colab, it's the Paradise Fragrance which is nice, I think. Can I smell? I don't think, I don't know if you'll be able to smell it now. Mm. Can you smell it? So yeah, tropical. I love it. Um, it's got flamingos on it, so and I love flamingos. Love them all. Flamingos. <laughs> we love flamingos. <laughs> um, it's amazing oil absorption. Absorption. Why can't I say that word? Absorption. Absorption. Not ab. Ab. Absorption. Absorption. No. But absorption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without white residue, and I actually find that it does the job. 
it you know, has no white streaks, your hair's not dry, it don't feel like you can't put a brush through it. I can't stand Batiste dry shampoo. It's like matte. It's it? horrible. Yeah. Um, but this, I love this. And I've used quite a few of these ones before and I've loved every single one of them. So, but I just love this. So I what's the variations one. you can get on it? Oh, I can't remember. I think they're all different scents. Like, yeah. I know they had a range of different cities. <coughs> um, so it's not for like different air or? Well, no, I think it's scents. just all different scents and yeah. things. Um, and you can get them at Superdrug. I'm not sure if you can get them anywhere else, but yeah. they're the same price as with these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My next one is the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity. Clar <laughs> Clarity. What's wrong with us today? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Face soap and clarity cleanser. I've already bought another bottle of this. I really like this. I've used it for quite a while now. Um, it's a blue one with a little pink ball in it. Um, and it smooths, cleanses and purifies. It's a three in one de daily detox. I love how you say that. <laughs> I don't know. What detox? No. Oh. It smooths, cleanses and purifies. I shouldn't be on an <laughs> There's little beads in it, like give a light exfoliation. It just takes off makeup really well. It don't around my eyes, and sometimes it does sting my head a little bit. You're the same as me, you try and get it all off with one day. Yeah. <laughs> just can't be bothered. I'm not sure how much it is. Do you know? About a tenner, I think. I'm not sure. I think it might be 16. Oh. 16, which I think is quite a lot, but it does last a long time. And I and really we have like three it. for two a lot. Yeah. My next one is the Fit Me um, foundation. It's matte and poreless, and it's for normal to, normal to oily skin um, in 105. I think I used this within a couple of months. I don't know why everything I use in a couple ah, of months. Ah, it takes me a long time yeah, to use it. I think I'm heavy handed with everything. <clears throat> um, I really enjoyed this foundation for the price. I think it's amazing. It's one of the best drugstore foundations for me. At the moment, I'm using the Bourjois City Radiance, which I really enjoy, but this is half the price, so I definitely recommend anyone going to buy it, and I would buy it again. My next one is a shower gel by Radox. It is the pomegranate and red apple scent uh, shower gel. It smells really nice. Um, I bought it. This is quite a new scent, isn't it? It came out, well, around Christmas, so it's quite a while ago now, but uh, it does remind me of Christmas, the smell. Um, I buy my hand wash and shower gel in it every week. Um, I just really like it, the smell is so nice. It is lovely. My last empties is a candle um, by Bath and Body Works. It's Magic in the Air. Magic in the Air, I scented like candle. That it's cute yeah. isn't it um, it was a christmas candle i got this for christmas from my husband <laughs> my so husband <laughs> um it's fragrant notes are almond flower white iris and whipped vanilla bourbon this is a three wick candle um it's a christmas candle so you can't get it at the moment but i'm hoping they're going to do it again um i think i've already it's used very christmas do you think it is? It's quite sweet, but it's not sickly sweet, and it smells beautiful. It's like musky, isn't it? It's so nice. Look at the lid as well. And I love the holographic um, mistletoe. It just, it disappoints me that we don't have a Bath and Body Works. Yeah, why haven't? I don't know. I wish they'd make one, please. Wait, my last one is a Yankee Candle in Sweet Pea Scent. Lorna got me this for my birthday um, about two years ago. I I did burn it out quite a long time ago, um, but I have it in my toilet window. It just makes it smell nice anyway because it's only a little in there. It's really sweet floral scent, um, but it's not sickly and it's it's fresh as well. It's really nice and I like the colour. It matches my house. So I would I would definitely buy that again. Right then, that's it for. <laughs> we got like an anchor woman. News reporter, very bad thing. We just stuck in the sheets. <laughs> right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> not, not doing big flops. No. What's that thing? <laughs> What's that for? Um, you're dancing big flops. That's not an anchor woman. No, but I'm stacking sheets, and I'm like, that's me stacking the sheets. Ah. <laughs>
I'm gold. I know they're a bit stacky machine. Do you know what I mean? Like the piece of paper. They like when they've done this, tap them on thing to collect more things. <coughs> anyway, that's it for this video. If you want us to do any more empties videos, we'll save them. Yeah, that didn't take up. Oh, that didn't take a lot of time to wrap them up. And um, let us know what empties you've got, or things that you enjoy and repurchase over and over again. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see any more videos. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.